Hello, welcome to Photographics Academy. Make sure you subscribe to our channel and ring the bell so you get notified every single time I'll drop a new video. All right, so we are looking at a very interesting topic today. Very, very interesting. All right, so you are finished retouching your pictures. You are finished doing your dodging and burning every single thing. Like this one, I've already done everything I needed to do. This was before. This is after the retouching. Look at my layers for the work. All right, so, but this is not what we are looking at today. We've done that already. But now, what are the best social media practices for your images? How do you export your image? In what format you leave your image so that the color fidelity will be very high? You wouldn't want Instagram or any other social media platform flashing the, the color or the quality of your image when you are uploading, especially the color when you're uploading. I don't know if it has ever been a problem to you that you finished editing, you looked at your picture in your system, it was exactly perfect. Then putting it in your phone, the color shifted. It's no longer the same thing. Now, what happened was that your color profile changed. The image didn't lose its quality, didn't lose its color, just that the color profile changed. Let me show you what I mean. So I'm going to flatten this to show you. All right, so follow me carefully. If you want to know the, for, uh, the color profile your image is in at the moment, look at the top of your screen. You should see RGB. So this is RGB. Or come to this part of your screen. If it's not showing here, click here and go to document profile. So when you click document profile, it's going to change. So you are going to start seeing the color profile. So the image is in RGB. Now you need to understand that uh, color profile varies from screen to screen. There are screens that I use what we call Pro Photo. Let me show you. So you have to go to your edit, go to preference, and go to assign uh, color profile. You can find it somewhere around here. Okay, look. Let's look. Let's use this one. Go to assign profile. So we are going to be shifting it just one after the other. So you see what each one do does. So you open it like this. These are the color profiles available at this moment in this laptop right now. In this particular Photoshop. Okay, so the image is already in Adobe RGB 1990. So you are going to notice as I'm changing my cursor. Let me click on sRGB so you will see what I'm talking about. You see, look at the way the color just changed. The saturation just dropped. Now what is happening here is that my image just changed profile. It didn't change its color. If I return it back to Adobe RGB, it's going to assume that same color again. And this is what happens when you transfer your images from one screen to another. Let's say that your laptop is using a color profile of uh, Adobe RGB and your phone is designed to view colors as sRGB. So what you are going to notice is that when you put this picture on your phone, it's going to appear like this. So it's going to look like it desaturated, but in the real sense, it didn't desaturate. It just changed its profile. So if you take that picture and put it in a screen or in a phone that views at Adobe RGB, the picture is going to have the same color it had in your, in your own system. Now there's another one. These are the three most common ones that we use regularly as photographers. There are other ones you can only try, but these three are the most ones that affect us most often so this is pro photo it's it's a quite it's quite a higher level of saturation but that doesn't mean that your picture did uh, just spoil no your picture did not spoil it just means that the color profile changed so if your phone is using a pro photo and your system is using an srgb so when your system gives your phone this this is what you view in your phone you might send it to your client and the client say, ah, God, this picture is too saturated. No, the picture is not too saturated. It's just that the color profile is exactly not the same thing. But the good news is that almost every uh, screen, especially phones, almost every phone uses Adobe RGB. So the best way to save your image as a photographer, if you just want to send to your clients to view on their phone, is Adobe RGB. That is one. The second part of it is that almost all social media platforms supports sRGB images. Even if your picture is uploaded in Pro Photo, 
before you start viewing it in your plat in your handles, probably your Instagram especially, it's going to be converted to sRGB. So that is where you start noticing that the color of your images when you upload them are not exactly the same thing with the one you have on your phone. So how does this affect your workflow? Simple. Knowing that Instagram is going to upload your image like this and you want it to appear saturated. So why not just saturate it? Probably let me just try saturating. So why not just saturate it like this so that when you upload on your Instagram, it's going to come out exactly the same way. I hope that helped you. All right. So now having dealt with color profile, of course, I don't want this. This is what I want. It's already in RGB. Having dealt with color profile, you need to equally understand that when you are importing your pictures into Photoshop, let's go back to preference again. Let me show you that. All right. So we can go to assign. So when you're uploading your images into Photoshop, Photoshop determines the working RGB, the working profile. So this is where you can set the working profile for your Photoshop. You can decide to tell Photoshop, okay, every single time I, I upload my image on, uh, I bring in my picture into Photoshop. I need you to edit it for me as sRGB or don't color manage. So when you say don't color manage this document, it means every single time you are going to be coming into Photoshop, it's going to assume the same one that the picture is carrying at that point. So when you bring in your picture into Photoshop, leaving it in don't color manage, you are telling Photoshop, please, the same profile that it has where I took it on my camera edit it for me like that. That's why my own is in RGB already because I said do not color manage this document. Now you can you can put it to working document to work in RGB rather. When you put it in working RGB, it means that every single time you bring in your picture into Photoshop, Photoshop automatically changes the color profile into sRGB. So if you're a social media person you, you prefer uploading all your works on social media, I guess this might be the one you would like so that you wouldn't have to be doing all these change, changes every single time. So I'm going to press OK. I'm going to press OK. So for exporting your images, still on the best practices for your social media. So the first one is your color profile. Please pay attention to that. The second one is how do you save your image? Now, Photoshop have a lot of options that can allow you save your image. You can do Ctrl S. For some later versions, you can do Ctrl Shift S. You can equally do Ctrl Alternate S. So all those practices or all those shortcuts allows you to save your image. Then there is another one called Export. So this is where the main thing is Export. So when you go to Export, you can go to Export As. But the one I want to show you is Save for Web Legacy. So what does that mean? That tells you from the name Save for Web. So it means the picture is being saved for web space. That is for your social media, for your website. You want to upload to a company's website. You want to send to their email. This is the best one to export your images with. Why will you do that? Because it holds the highest quality of that picture for you. It keeps your picture at its maximum quality. I don't know if that's making sense. It keeps your image at its maximum quality maintaining all the colors every single thing let me zoom out so that you see what i'm talking about so if you zoom out the picture you're going to notice that it's having stuff that looks like shine in the real sense that is not a shine in the real sense that is not a shine it's just the sharpness of the image it means that it's holding the detail if you zoom it closer you notice that all those details disappear reason is because it's trying to hold all the detail in the picture as much as it can. So when you upload it on your Instagram, you are going to notice that the quality this time around is going to be very high. This is the secret why you see some photographers that you admire when they upload their images on their social media handles. It looks extremely detailed and sharp. This is the secret. This is what they do that you do not know. So start doing this thing on your images from today and you are going to notice that your picture will take a whole different level. Thank you for watching Photographics video. Please subscribe to our YouTube channel. Click on the uh, notification button to get notified every single time we upload a new video. See you. Thank you.